Medical reporter Liz Bonas joins us now with what moms need to know in today's health alert. Liz. Good afternoon to both of you. That warning today as whooping cough in newborns continues to be a serious problem here in our area and across the country. Whooping cough is a very contagious disease and a newborn cannot be vaccinated against it. So mom needs that vaccine in pregnancy. That's because researchers with the Centers for Disease Control say more than one out of every three babies that gets whooping cough gets it from mom. Infection control experts are now stressing what many pregnant women need to know. The antibodies or substances in the blood that protect a baby against whooping cough when a mom is vaccinated decline over time. So it's important that women get this vaccine every pregnancy. Whooping cough or pertussis can be stopped by getting the Tdap vaccine. It is called Tdap because it contains vaccinations for tetanus and diphtheria as well. The protective antibodies will be highest about two weeks after vaccination, so mothers-to-be should get this sometime between the 27th and 36th week of pregnancy. Experts from the Cleveland Clinic that supplied this video say the vaccine has been studied extensively and it is safe to give mom every pregnancy. Now that recommendation also supported by the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists and the American College of Nurse Midwives. But since a lot of people still have concerns about vaccinations, this is a great conversation to have with your own doctor. Whooping cough gets its name because it gives you like a whoop cough. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in an adult, or you or me, we could fight that off. If mom gives it to baby, it could really restrict breathing. And that's how they die. I mean, this is really critical. Those first six months of life, you have to protect them and continue that. Well, you always see those commercials where they say, don't hold someone else's baby in the first few weeks, too. Mm -hmm. And I guess that's why, right? Well, a lot of the hospitals, right, have started what they call like a... a, a a halo effect where they do grandparents and things like that. Immediate so immediate family yes. is supposed to get vaccinated Immediate too, right? family, but more even like anyone that would be a caretaker. So if you leave them with grandma and grandma hasn't had it, she could give it to you too. Even if she could fight it off, doesn't mean yeah. the baby could. So good, good stuff to know. To know. Yeah. Back